ridiculous. I mean, do you know what's going on? I haven't a clue. I'd hate to know what you do for fun. Mr Watts, map and compass, torch, emergency first aid kit. I suggest you delegate each item to a suitable member of your team. Thanks, but what's the point of this exercise? Well, the point's simple. Breakfast is served at the lodge between 8 and 8.30. Hey, you can't leave us here. We must be miles away. You get back any later than 8.30, miss your breakfast. I do not like that man. Hey, have got a minute, will you? Bill Cook Fred needs a breather. We can't keep stopping every time he's short of breath. No, but really, he doesn't look so well. Well, he shouldn't have drank all that whiskey then, should he? Oh, Carly, we could all do with a break. No, if we keep stopping, we'll never get back on time. Hey, he won't be getting back at all if you don't. Yeah, come on, Curly, ask this right. Fred needs a breather. Look, if you can't hack it, you shouldn't have come. I don't need you to tell me that. My feet are killing me, and I'm sore through to my vest. I'm too old to go yomping round the moors. I'm a butcher, not a member of Three Para. Look, will you stop arguing and pass the water round? I'm as dry as a duck in the desert. No, no water, not yet. Hey? Well, we've only got one bottle between the six of us. So? So it's got to be rationed. Curly, if Alma needs a drink, just give her a drink, all right? I could do with a swill and all. No, it's too early. It's another 20 minutes before the water stops. Right. Wait, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like, Curly? I give the water out. Oh, come on, let's not fall out. We've got enough to cope with as it is. Exactly, Ken. So all those in favour of having a drink, say aye. 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 Well, go on, then. Die of thirst. See if I care. Hey, Genghis Khan. This is Derbyshire, not Gobi Desert. More likely to drown before night's out. Curly? No, I'll wait until the right and proper time. Fine. All right, then, folks, what do we say? Five minutes break and then we get going again? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Right. There should be a barn or a farm building just ahead. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. And then there should be a cart track that goes to the left. And we follow... Yes, to the left. And then we follow that all the way down and then we should hit the main road. Is this some kind of wind-up? Uh, no, it's not a wind-up. What are you talking about? You can see he's in pain. He's not the only one. Oh, for goodness sake, have some compassion, Curly. Oh, is it broken? No. Look, can you do your toes? <laughs> well, try pressing against my oh, hand. Oh, oh. No, it's not broken. It's just badly sprained. Brilliant. That's all we oh. need. You say one more thing against him and I promise you'll bop your wall. Hang on a second, Dusty. Just calm down. <laughs> It's obvious that Fred can't go on like this and we need to assess the situation. I already have. We leave him here. We go on and we send someone back to help him. Oh. Leave him here? Well, yeah, that way we only lose ten points. Is that all you care about, losing points? That's the reason we're here. Well, I'm not leaving him up here on his own. He could die. Oh, leave off. One night on the moor's not enough to kill him. I've warned you. Hang on a second. Look, we started as a team and we'll finish as a team. The only way we're going to finish as a team is if someone carries him. Exactly. Oh. You've oh. got to be joking. Sorry. No! No, we're too far over to left. We're on the wrong path. Well, we should be over there by yon trees. See, are you not listening? We should be over there by yon trees. Right, hang on a minute. Put it down. Put it down. I've had enough. I can't go on. I need a rest. Rest? Rest? We can't be resting. If we're not back by our fate, we'll miss us breakfast. I don't care. Don't care? What kind of an attitude's that? 
I thought you were the one who was supposed to have leadership qualities. I swear to God I will swing for you before this night's over, Fred. Oh, Curly, please, that's enough. Yeah, no stamina. That's what's wrong with the young folk of the day. I say no stamina. Just think of all that bacon, egg and sausage sizzling in that pan waiting for us when we get back. Please, Uncle Fred. Don't talk about food, please. Hey! What's that you've just put in your gob? What? Come here. What is it? Come well, on. You no. No, it's you lying no. to no. me. I warned you. you. Hey, don't no. warn me. Warn him. What no. you got in here? Go, go, go. Uh, hey. Nothing, nothing. No, 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 I'm now, damn it. What's this then? Oh, Uncle oh, Fred. I can explain. Don't bother. I needed sustenance. We carried you! It seems like miles. I mean, we carried you because you were part of the team, because we cared about you. I mean, I mean what, what sort of team spirit is that? Well, there's, there's some left. I mean, have you, I mean, you're welcome to it. No, thank you. I'd rather starve. I'll have it. Give it here. Right, now, each of you, take a piece. We're going to need all the strength we can get if we're going to carry him back to base, aren't we? Back to base? Are you suggesting that we drag this sack of spuds back to base after what he's done? Well, Curly, yes, I am. And if you've got a problem with it, then fine. Anyone else? Well, I don't deserve it. Look, we've still got a way to go, but if we take it steady and we take plenty of rest, we'll get him back at the lodge before breakfast. So I say we go for it, OK? Spoken like a true leader. Spoken like a veritable <laughs> true... <laughs> Sorry. Hey! Right, come, come on. on. OK, you all got back for your breakfast. Some of you even managed to grab a few hours' kip into the bargain. So it's time to reflect on the night's events. And as usual, we'll be noting your comments. So feel free to tell us anything of importance. You can speak openly and without restraint. Now, there's one thing I'd like to mention before we start, and that is the Weatherfield team's performance. Now, they had real problems up there last night, but they showed true grit and resource. They turned what might have been a disaster into a success, thanks to what must have been excellent cooperation, teamwork, and some very fine leadership. So, well done. It is quite clear. You're saying that Mr. Watts wanted to leave you on the moor before you had your accident. Correct. Our progress was being severely restricted by Mr Elliot's very slow pace. I mean, I didn't mean to leave him out there. No, I meant for us to, to carry on and then for Fred to follow at his own pace. That's not what you said. No, it's not. I was proved right, though, wasn't I? He showed his true colours in the end, didn't he? How do you mean? Nothing. He doesn't mean anything. Well, I mean, we got back. I mean, that's what's important, isn't it? No thanks to him. I say no thanks to him. We only got back because that young lady there showed the true spirit of natural leadership. Only because she wouldn't leave you there. Mr Sy, would you like to add anything to this? No, only that we worked as a team. We carried him for miles and miles, despite the fact that he scoffed a whole bar of chocolate in secret without offering it to anyone else. Oh, you may laugh now, but it wasn't funny when we were up there. But you were in favour of leaving, Mr Elliot. Uh, chocolate bar or no chocolate bar? I thought it was the right decision given the circumstances. I see. Oh, do you? Do you? I mean, whose fault was it that he was out there in the first place? Yours. Sending an old man, unfit, out there into the cold and dark. Hey! I take exception to that. I didn't force anyone to do anything. You could have objected at any time on the journey. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then you can make your little comments on your notebook. And I didn't choose the team, Mr Watts. You are the branch manager. If your team was unsuitable, that is your responsibility. Oh, I see. So it's all my fault again now, is it? Besides, it must have been a group decision to allow Mr Elliot to go on night manoeuvres. No, it wasn't. Curly forced him into it. Hang on a minute, Ashley. We've all got to take some of the blame for that. Jock's right. We should have seen that Fred couldn't hack it and said something straight away. Besides... We can't blame Curly for everything, can we? 